Hello everyone, happy Friday. This is my jewelry channel, Jewelry by Monique. Hope you guys have had a wonderful week. Um, Friday is always a good day. Um, my little thumbs up guy, he's cool. You know, he was a, he's a pendant. He goes and goes through thumbs up. Let me put it through there. But anyway, I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying everything I'm showing. Okay, I'll set that over to the side. Today, I have all the sterling is, I have everything left in the sterling except for two, the two big pieces. So if anybody's interested, you know, all that jewelry is still available except for the large cross and the Aztec ring. So, um, yeah, that's still, everything's still there. Okay, we are doing vintage. Most of these pieces are vintage, and a lot of them are marked, some of them aren't, but um, let's just go ahead and get started. If you're interested in purchasing anything, just email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. If you'd like to register to be able to purchase and you haven't yet, and you're a new subscriber, um, all you have to do is email me your shipping address and your actual name, not just your YouTube name, and your PayPal email. And as soon as I get that sent through my email, I'll let you know that I've received it and then you can purchase. Or if you want to purchase, go ahead and email me and leave that information with it. And I'm going to go ahead and get started if you have any questions or comments about things, please email me. We try to make this drama free and a really nice, calm place to come and watch a video. So the comments are used, the comments area is not used to purchase. It is used for just communicating back and forth, saying hello, telling me how you like the video and the jewelry and little things like that. And let me know how you're doing, what you're gonna do this weekend, things like that. So. I consider you my channel friend, so I like to know what's what's going on with you and how you're doing, how your family's doing, and hopefully um, we'll have a good weekend, all of us, okay? All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you is a beautiful pair of pierced earrings. These are Sorelli. These are called Red Gem style post earrings. Um, I put the tag on there just so I would not um, forget them. Uh, it's Mark Sorelli on the back. Right there. Let's see if I can get you guys to see it. There we go. And these are a deep red, and they are most likely glass and not like a gemstone. They could be. Don't know. A, B, gold tone, little rondelle here. No, it's not a rondelle, it's actually two pieces. Two little um, gems there, little gemstone-like things. And then we have the A, B here. And these are an absolutely excellent shape. These look brand new. Um, I don't know if they've ever been worn. Um, I just think they're gorgeous. I did have to go back in and you know, price some things and see what um, they were going for here recently. I've had a couple pairs that I've sold in the past. Um, you see me messing with my light. Hold on, guys. There we go. Um, I just think they're gorgeous. So I'm going to put 30 on these. And you're going to have to look them up to really understand why they're that expensive. They're vintage. They're Sorelli. They're... If you see their piece, her pieces, you'll understand. Um, so we're gonna do 30 on these. They're probably almost an inch. And they are gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, let's set that over. Okay, let's do something different. Okay, I have this group of, this is so funny. We had these tin or aluminum cups 
when we used to go to the lake. And we loved these cups. They were all different colors, right? And every year, there'd be a, one missing. And then the next year, there'd be another one missing. We ended up with like three at, when all was said and done. But they are made out of this material. You can hear it clinking and clanking. Um, the inside kind of shows you the, the aluminum. These are absolutely fabulous. Look at this. So there's one in the teal, almost turquoise blue. There's an orange. Look at the inside of that. I remember that color. Here is that inside color on the outside, kind of a pinkish orange. Here is a very pretty kind of a lime color. Okay. Black with the silver. Here is a gold with silver. These are so cool. Here is a yellow. Here's another turquoise. So these are kind of like little sets, but they're, you know, a whole bunch of them. There's another kind of a goldish brown. And then there are two blacks here. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven. I thought there was twelve, but maybe not. Let's just go with the eleven. These are fabulous. So you've got two turquoise, two of the I'll put these three kind of sherbet colors together for, no, three, because they got the same design. And then we've got the, these two are the same. So that's another pair. These two are very similar. There's three here that are really cute. Or you could do this. Ah, I love it. Then we've got the yellow. So that yellow could go in with these three. We'd have four. And we've got these here, this design, which is kind of a design on its own. But these had the same design almost. So we've got two and two here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, you got a whole combination of different sets that you could put together with these gorgeous, cool summertime bangles, okay? These are lovely. Um, they are big enough for me not to stress at all to get them on. I'm going to do a measurement on them. They're all the same. They're all the same. They'll go on very easy. Yeah, so I'm gonna put these together and I'm gonna give you a measurement. I'll measure this one. We're at about, mm, I'm gonna say eight and a quarter, almost eight and a half. But remember, you have to get it all over your hand. It's about eight and a quarter, eight and a half. Same thing here. Oops, come back here. Same there. They're all the same. Okay, let's make sure these are also. Yep. I think these are a little smaller, but not much. These are a little smaller. Just these right here. But I can get them on. Aren't those cool? So, sorry I'm taking so much time on these, but they're just, I don't know, they're just so neat. And I'll give you an inside measurement on these, because like I said, these four are a little smaller. But I'm selling them as a group. I'm not separating them. That would just not be smart. Okay, so I'm going to measure this one real quick. This one is right at, yeah, one and a half inches across. And this one is one, what did I say one and a half? It's two and a half. This is almost two and three quarters. 
so that's two and a half, I guess. So this is about a quarter inch or inch bigger, but two and a half is what they will go over as far as width. And this whole set here is, let's put it at 15, okay? Hello. That's cool. Okay. Next, we have the rose pen. I had another one. This one is the marked piece. This is Giovanni. This thing is so pretty. A very pretty brush gold tone. You have a little rim around there that's shiny. Um, you've got etchings on the leaves. This is just so lifelike. Got the little thorns. The word Giovanni is on the back of the leaf, right there. Right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put 10 on this. I think it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's like 3D. It's just really neat. Now here we've got the little cage, probably a little I don't know if that's a piece of jade or not, but I'm not gonna be able to tell. But it's a little piece of probably a little round bead of jade or nephrite or something inside this um, cute little cage. And this is, I think this is 120th 12K. Let me check real quick. No, this is, gotta hold it up, sorry guys. This is, this is 14K. Wow, that is so tiny. I'm pretty sure it's 14K gold filled. No, 120 or 14K. Oh, I wish I could see this better. Um, yeah, 120 or 14K. Not filled, it just, which is what it means. And this says something here. Oh yeah, this is Crimmins, guys. This is really neat. And on the back it says nothing. Okay. So it's Crimmins. So this is really pretty. So this thing looks new. Look at the gold tone. The cage is perfect. I can't show you the crements and it's just too tiny. But it's on actually on the ring. There. Isn't that neat? So we've got about 18 inches. And this is 14 gold filled, 120 to 14K. And um, I'm going to put 10 on the crements. Very neat. Okay. Set that over there. Yeah, the kids went to pick up something at Walmart. I was like, bye. <laughs> Not my idea of a fun time. Okay. So here we have Sarah Coventry in the most excellent condition. This thing is beautiful. Sarah Cov. And there's the little square, a triangle, diamond shape. There. And this is really pretty. You've got the little open work here, kind of a oriental design with the little bead. Just really pretty. It is right at 
17 inches. No, 15 inches. I'm sorry, guys. This is 15 inches, and it is really, really pretty. So I'm going to do eight on the Sarah Cub and tree. Um, oh. I put him up. I forgot about him. It is my birdie. We have a road runner. There are no markings. He is just too cool. There's a little wear on him, but not much. He's got a little orange eye. He's on this little frosted spring ring necklace. That's very cool. I like the way it's made. It is not marked. But it is so cute. It's like in really great shape. So we've got the big bird. And then we've got approximately almost four inches. And he's about two inches up and down. I hear a baby. So, let's do eight on him. The largest. I think he's the biggest roadrunner I've ever seen. And the little wear is right there. But you can't really see it. Okay. Very cool. Did I tell you how long this is? 24 inches. Okay, let's do something else. Let's do the bamboo. Bamboo. Looks like bamboo. <laughs> uh, this is Monet. I bet you. Yep. There's the tag. This is in excellent shape, guys. The gold tone is fabulous. That's the back. This is really nice. It's a Excellent vintage piece. Um, it has a hook, a hook and eye, or a hook and ring, whatever you want to call it. Just beautiful. And it's got an extender on it, so it doesn't have to be quite a choker. Even though that was so popular. This is right at 16 inches with the extender which is actually just part of the necklace, as you can see. So it lays right like that. And we will put on the Monet, let's put, let's put eight on it. Instead of 10, we'll do eight on it. Okay, let's see how. Oh, this is sweet. So we have some gold tone chain with designs here. These are, um, looks like mahogany jade. I mean mahogany jade. Mahogany jasper uh, rose quartz. That's a really nice carnelian. A little banded carnelian there. This is amethyst. Yeah, these are pretty. Let's see how. Amethyst. Hold on here. I got it tangled now. You have amethyst and what I think is adventuring. Okay. It's a little tangled. No, it's okay. Um, could be adventuring. Or it could be that green chrysophrase. I've been seeing that quite a bit. But look how pretty that is. Kind of an olive green. I think it's adventuring in myself. And then the amethyst here. Just beautiful. This does not have a clasp. It is over the head. It is about 48. No, yeah, it is. Probably 36 inches, 38 at the most. Um, this is really pretty. 
The gold tone's perfect on this. There's no wear at all. So let's put tin on this one with the stones, okay? Okay, next we have a wrap bracelet. This is cute. Don't know how old it is. This is a Yik phone. It's leather. It does have a little bit of, I don't know if you call it wear. I'm going to sell it cheap. It needs to be, like, cleaned. You know what I mean? It just looks a little dingy. Um, I like to work on these. Let me show you. And this is because it's been in a bag with a bunch of other jewelry. Yeah. But it will clean right up because it's real leather. Just like a leather purse. Okay, let's do this one. And like I said, it's an expensive piece. Um, clean the crystals, clean the back side of this. And I mean, it cleans up quick. <laughs> now I'll show you the wet wipe. Just a baby sweat wipe, that's all it is. I buy them at Sam's by the case. Now that's just a little boo-boo there. Yeah, I don't wanna mess it up. Just got a little piece there. See, look at that. Can you see it? Yep, it's just from being in jewelry bags or jewelry jars or whatever it was in. And I mean, it looks great now. Look at the difference. It is very nice. I'm gonna put five on this. And it is nice and clean. And how it works is you just hold it, hold it like that and wrap it. And it is approximately, oh, look at this. This is so cute. I should have put more than five. Dang it. So this would be eight and eight is 16 is what I'm thinking. Let's see. There's eight. And seven. So it's about a seven and a half and a seven and a half. But then you've got a couple different snaps. So I'm thinking it'll go probably anywhere between seven and eight. Is what it seems like to me. Let's see. You got all the different snaps. I would have to snap it at the smallest part there. That is just too cute. Okay, we're gonna put five on it. Okay. And like I said, it cleaned up like a champ. The only little thing I see right there is on the inside, just a little scratch right there. Nick Fung. Yik Fung. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Yik Fung is written right there. Look up some of his stuff. You'd just be surprised. You would just be surprised. Okay, that one was very cool. Okay, I have a Sarah there. I have a... What is this? This is very neat. Um, oh, it's got a tag. What is that? Oh, Liz Claiborne, LC. I've had this for a while, guys. This is neat. Look at the different colors of green in this one. It's got a toggle. Makes me want to clean everything now, guys. No, this isn't dirty. Not at all. But isn't it pretty? These look like turquoise almost, but I know they're not. Very nice replicas. This is lightweight. I think these pieces are plastic. It's just very pretty. No, it's not dirty. So I'll show you the toggle part. 
And like I said, it is Liz Claiborne. It's very pretty, very well made. And this is the center. It's twisted, sorry. That is the centerpiece. It's very neat. I like unusual stuff, so. So this is right around, this is right at 14. So this will go a little higher on your neck. But it's a beauty. Okay, so we'll put five on that. Now we have a Sarah Coventry. I put it on a very thick, um, this is Monet. This is the piece I was showing you guys that there's wear on this um, crazy little clasp. Of, you know, you guys have seen these where they open up both sideways like this. Isn't that cool? Now, it is worn a bit, and I had almost put a new clasp, but the thing is, the Monet is, you know, that would mess it up. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. There's the Monet tag right there. It is a beautiful silver tone. I mean, it looks like silver. This is a gorgeous rope, very thick. And it has a beautiful Sarah Coventry pendant at the bottom with turquoise colored um, inlays here. And they are uh, like a resin, acrylic, plastic -y. Beautiful little beads at the bottom, little silver. I'll show them to you. Little silver kind of shiny beads at the bottom. Th this is just too cool. So I'm gonna put 10 on Sarah and Monet since they're mixed. This is neat. This is a lariat. This has some of those great big, beautiful ring pearls. Look at these pearls. These remind me of that other piece that I'm in love with. <laughs> but look at this. This is like leather cording. This is an absolutely excellent shape. It is probably, listen. Thirty thirty-eight inches, maybe thirty-six inches total. And it's probably about thirty. Let's see. It'd be at about thirty no, not quite maybe 28 to 30. It comes down to just right around my chest level, just past the chest level. Yeah, this is very pretty. So I'm put eight on this one. I don't wanna do 10, but probably should, but I'm not going to. So this is a beauty. This would be nice with a tan and a turquoise top or black dress some brown sandals. This is cool. Okay. Very, very nice. So that one was eight. Now here's a fun one. This has no tag, but I just think it's darling. Let's make sure everything is on there correctly. We have little torque or choker, whatever you want to call it. People call it different things. And it has little hearts, charms, just silver tone. And then we have little lamp work glass here and here. You've got what I think is a real pearl. No, maybe not. Maybe that one is. I can't tell. Anyway, just really cute little pieces on this. That's a little shell, it looks like. Then you've got this. So it's kind of asymmetrical vintage looking piece. I'll show it to you up close. Look at that. And that is cute. And this fit about anybody. It comes down. Let's see. Let me put it on my neck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I put it on, it overlaps by about let's see. Overlaps by Cut my other necklace. Tag on it. It overlaps about 
that much. So it's cuter than a button, and I'll put six on it. It's got an M on it, so I don't know. The design is an M, or K, no, looks like a J, JC or something. But yeah, this is very cool. All right, love it. Yes, we're probably not gonna get all through these, but through all of these. We have a Shambhala and, oh, this is cute. Shambhala and little tassels, gold tone, very pretty. All you do is grab a hold of these two and give it a little pull. And then you put it on, get it up over this part of your wrist. Let's make sure the shambhala is working. Okay, then we hold on to one side and we tighten it up. There we go. Make sure it's gonna stay. Yep. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? There. That is darling. So we have the Shambhala. It's working very well. It'll open up. Um, let's put, let's put five on that. That's cute. And you can fix the tassels any way you want them, really. They're just on a ring. Very cute. Next, we have a toggle bracelet with some very pretty beads on it. Anyway, we have pink with the black lampwork beads here, some black glass beads here. This has some gorgeous rondelles, uh, little faceted beads there. It's very nice. There is the toggle here. I don't see a maker mark on it, but boy, is it nice. This thing is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. So it's black and pink and, you know, silver tone. And it is eight inches. Isn't that amazing? And look at those beautiful rondelles in there. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is beautiful. So I'm gonna put eight on this one. It must be an $8 day. Um, let's see here. I haven't done any earrings. I can do some later. I'll show this Brighton one again tomorrow. Let's do two clampers and then we'll stop for the night. This is the yin and yang symbol in pink and black. Very summery. I do not see a maker mark, but it's cute. Isn't that pretty? It's very nice. It's a nice fit. You don't have to worry about it not fitting. This should go up to at least a seven and three quarters. Very nice. So I'll put three on this one. Now this one is gorgeous. This is summertime for real. This still has its tags. It is called Spring Street from Steinmart. It was originally $12.99. I think it's cute. It's still got the tag on it, so nobody ever wore this. Isn't that cool? Very, very cool. So, this clamper is very nice. I would say at least a seven and three quarters, seven and a half, seven and three quarters. Um, I'm gonna do five on this one. This is a lot newer looking and probably a lot newer. 
than most of the stuff I have. It's gonna. It's telling us it's gonna be hot. Like we don't know that. Yes, we know, dear. Yes, we know. Okay, one more necklace that I think is gorgeous. I am going to wipe it a bit just because it's so pretty. Gets a little bath. I've had this forever. This is like a rondelle. I mean, this is like, um, what's it called? It's not a rondelle. This is a, anyway, I'll show it to you. Cause I can't remember what they're called. A Rivoli, that's what that's called. Okay, let me get it dry. Let me get that out of there. It's a fuzzy. Okay, this is beautiful. We have a Rivoli with little crystals around it. It's in that little, it's like bezel set down in there. Um, but it is also prong set there in the front. So we have a silver tone veil, I mean, silver tone chain. It is not sterling, but it's very, very nice. Nice lobster on here. So I'm gonna put, let's put six on that. I think it's very pretty. Okay, we're at 36 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. And all these things will be invoiced probably tomorrow. Um, if anybody's interested in anything, and I have a couple packages going out, if you know you got a package coming, I might be able to put it in with that package. There's about four people. One, two, three. Yeah, there's about four people that I could probably put something into. But um, I think that's it for tonight. Um, yeah, we've got quite a bit left. So we have a real nice video for tomorrow. Don't forget... I have everything in that sterling video still, except for the cross and the Aztec ring, okay? The big cross. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay well and stay blessed, and we'll talk to you soon.